Okay, folks, let's look at radiative transfer models, or RTMs for short, a little more closely. RTMs describe the interaction of photons with biophysical and biochemical plant properties by means of physical laws that can be used to analyze mechanistic principles of spectral and spatial scaling effects. They are widely used for variable retrieval by inversion, also for the development of parametric regressions, generation of training data for non-parametric regressions, and, beyond that, for designing new Earth observation missions. There are different exemplary groups of RTMs, and we'll look at some in more detail later in this video. But first, what does an RTM do in general? Well, in the forward mode, the RTM is built to simulate vegetation reflectance. Afterwards, the model can be used in inverse mode to estimate biophysical and biochemical vegetation properties on the basis of image spectra. A popular RTM for the simulation of leaf optical properties is the prospect model that simulates the directional hemispherical reflectance and transmittance over the solar spectrum between 400 and 2500 nanometers. Leaf optical properties are mainly driven by a structure parameter, i.e. the number of stacked elementary homogeneous layers and by the absorption coefficient of one elementary layer. Different versions have been developed with an increasing number of inputs, for example, chlorophyll content, leaf water content, leaf mass per area, and carotenoid and anthocyanin content. The latest version is Prospect Pro, splitting leaf mass per area, or LMA for short, into proteins and carbon-based constituents, or CBC for short. This allows us to monitor leaf nitrogen content using protein nitrogen conversion factors. Prospect Pro can accurately estimate leaf protein content and CBC from leaf optics in the shortwave infrared domain for both fresh and dry leaves and can accurately estimate the carbon to nitrogen ratio of vegetation based on the protein to CBC ratio. One of the earliest canopy reflectance models developed in the 1980s is the scattering by arbitrary inclined leaves model, or SAIL for short. SAIL provides four stream optical properties, there are nine in total, of the canopy layer in the output. Some subversions have been developed describing vertically heterogeneous canopies or multiple layers. The current version, for SAIL, constitutes a numerically robust and speed optimized version of the model. Interestingly, leaf models such as Prospect and canopy models such as SAIL can be coupled. Now, for the retrieval purposes, we are interested in the RTM input variables, the reflectance signal measured by imaging spectroscopy sensors. Hence, model inversion must be performed. Therefore, two types of models exist. Economically invertible models designed for simple scenes with a low number of state variables, for example, ProSale, a combination of the prospect and sale models introduced earlier, and non-economically invertible models designed for complex scenes with a large number of state variables. And we differentiate inversion techniques. Iterative optimization techniques where we start from an initial guess of the model parameters and then converge towards an optimal set of parameters through the minimization of cost functions computed between measured and simulated signals. Look up table inversion, where a cost function finds the minimum over a large data set composed of the simulated signal and the corresponding model inputs, and hybrid inversion. Therefore, a trade off between complexity and realism has to be made. Simpler models like SAIL are easier to invert but less realistic, while advanced models are more realistic but require a higher computing power and large numbers of variables to be configured. Though RTMs are capable of describing causality between inputs and outputs by means of physical laws, they tend to oversimplify reality. Regression or machine learning algorithms, on the other hand, establish nonlinear relationships between any kind of data without the incorporation of physical rules. However, knowing the physical basis of your data really helps in designing training datasets and selecting model inputs. So, should we replace physically-based models with machine learning algorithms? Actually, we need both, as the two approaches are complementary. This is what we refer to as hybrid retrieval techniques, the combination of at least two methods in synergy to obtain the objective, variable retrieval, more efficiently. For vegetation properties mapping, 
Hybrid methods usually means a combination of machine learning techniques and RTMs, thus incorporating flexibility and scalability of machine learning while respecting the physics encoded in the RTM. One application example is the combination of the ProSale Pro model with variational heteroscedastic Gaussian process regression, or VHGPR for short, for the estimation of above ground nitrogen content as demonstrated by Berger and colleagues in 2020. First, the VHGPR model was trained on ProSale Pro simulated spectra by means of lookup tables. Subsequently, the GPR band analysis tool was used to identify the most relevant bands for the estimation of above ground nitrogen content. Finally, the approach was successfully applied on Spark HiMap imagery, including the provision of uncertainties.